So what's going on guys and welcome back to episode number 3 of our Aston Villa career mode and we are going to be kicking off this episode with a game up against Rotherham in the league and we are going to be going with our first team line out again so let's change all these 11. So the team is in fact going to be this one as we are going to be taking on Rotherham in our first game in the league at Villa Park. So we're going with the back line of Acuna, Chester, Richards, Taylor and then we've got Toussaint, Perian and Winks and then we've got Grealish, Mbappe and Adoma. So let's go ahead and try and pick up all three points. Come on boys. So win the ball back here is a playable through to Orian. Orian's going to try and cut back inside, which it could actually be his last game for us. He tries to play ball back inside to Taylor. Taylor wins it back, then it comes back to Orian, but he does do well to win ourselves a corner kick. So from the corner kick, we're going to take the short one through to Jack Grealish. Jack Grealish is going to play the ball back inside here to Mbappe Lotin. Mbappe Lotin does well, taking on his man. He's going to try and fire it into the back of the net. Oof, that wasn't too far away. So the ball through to Leandro Bakuna, Bakuna through to Toussaint, Toussaint through to Orian here as he plays the ball through to Jack Grealish, please tell me he's not offside, it comes back to Orian, Ooh, that wasn't too far away and we're getting closer to trying to put the ball in the back of the net. So play the ball through to Toussaint here as he offloads the ball back out wide to Jack Grealish, Jack Grealish is trying to make his way across and you can see the ball over the top to Harry Winks, Harry Winks to take it in his stride, Harry Winks to put it in the back of the net and Harry Winks, the player that we invested in, he was one of our main targets to try and bring into the club at Aston Villa as soon as we took it over, Jack Grealish with a lovely dink ball over the top and that is a fantastic finish from Harry into the back of the net and I think he is going to become the hero of this series. So Toussaint kind of bulldozing his way through as he plays the ball through here to Adoma. Adoma back out wide to Mbappe and Adoma I think is soon probably going to get dropped to the bench. He's not playing very well at all and I'm not enjoying playing with him. He hasn't been giving anything to the side and unless he starts to pick up his game and actually starts to do something, I don't think we are going to be using him for much longer as he's got the ball now. Adoma, can he shut me up? No, he can't. But Bakuna's going to bail him out as he wins the ball back. Bakuna has got a good shot on him, but he's going to lose it. Good chance for Rotherham, though. They play the ball out wide to Ball. Ball goes for goal. It's a good save from Johnson, and then he gets the ball clear. And now we've got the chance to break. No, we've lost it with Mbappe. Rotherham have a really good chance. They play the ball across. They go for goal, for God's sake. No. That's so frustrating. It's a simple pass, and we fuck it up, and they go ahead and score from it. Ugh. What are we doing here? It's an awful touch from Mbappe. They play the ball through. Our defenders are nowhere to be seen. And it's a good finish into the bottom corner. And a game that we've dominated. It looks like we're going to drop points from it. Or maybe not as we've got the ball with Taylor. Taylor through to Green. Green cuts back inside. Come on, Green. Do the dirty work. Oh, what was that? Please tell me. Oh, my God. So we've got one final chance. We play the ball through to Green. Green's cutting back inside. Come on, son. You can do this. Put the ball in the back of the net. He's done it. In the 90th minute, we were just slagging him off a minute ago because we said that he missed a half-decent chance. But this time he thought, boss, just give me my time. I might have missed that one, but I'm not going to miss a second chance. Give me one more chance and I will take it. It was a lovely ball through from Toussaint through to him. He all he has to do is keep his composure, put the ball on target, and it's a fantastic finish, keeping the ball low, slowing it into the bottom corner, and it looks like he's won us the game. Andre Green, get in. And he has, in fact, won us the game. It was a fantastic goal from him right at the very end. Very frustrating that we give away that sloppy goal, but we managed to come back. Lucas Toussaint, our man of the match, played fantastic in that game. And we picked up six points out of six. That's what we like to see. So we've got transfer off for Jordan Lydon to go on loan. Yep, he can go to Chatham Town for a one-year loan, which is fair enough of us. We've also got one... Um, with Gary Gardner to go to Burnley and we say 2.9 million which is 1 million over his valuation and you can take him away. Uh, Burnley actually there, they say they're going to match 5.6 million for Conor Hurrian which means we're going to have to go in for a new centre midfielder. Joe Gomez has also accepted his contract. Alex Awobi they want 7 million for which is not a bad deal. Uh, we could go ahead and let's try 5. 5 million for Alex Awobi and let's see what they say for that one. So we've got a transfer offer now for Jack Grealish. Um, to go to Sheffield Wednesday. We don't want to let Jack Grealish go, not unless they're going to give us a lot of money, which we know they won't give us nine million for Jack Grealish. We've also got Santi Mina says he wants a bigger squad role at the club. So basically what we'll go ahead and do, give him a crucial first team player, because if we give him a crucial first team player, I think it will actually complete 
the objective we got given. Rolanda Aarons want 4.1 million. Helder Costa has recently joined them, so I won't be letting him go. And Anya Cora, they want 5.5 million. So let's go ahead and offer 3.5 million for Henry Anya Kuru. We're going to go ahead and offer a similar fee, probably lower for Rolando Aarons. Let's offer 2.1 for him and let's see what the parent club say. And also, Shakhtar Donetsk have accepted a 6 million bid for Viktor Kovalenko. And I know this guy is an absolute gem. So let's go ahead and try and offer him a contract. And he will be the perfect replacement for um, the guy that we're just about to sell. So once again, changing the squad up for this game against Huddlesfield, we've made 10 changes. So I'm not sure if it's going to do us a load of good. But last time we played with this team, we ended up winning 3-0. So we got Amavi playing on the left because we're putting him in this team for the time being to try and get his fitness back. He's still got the plus next to his name. Then we've got Delight, uh, Elphick and Alexander-Arnold. Then we've got a midfield three of Lansbury, Gardner and Jelinek. And the front three of um, the left midfielder, <laughs> Kodja and Hogan. Come on, boys. So we're trying down this left-hand side with our left midfielder, which we still don't know how to pronounce his name. He's going to try and cut back inside and offload a perfect ball through to Kodja. And then an actual defender takes it away from his man. And we get lucky. Or they get lucky, I should say. Lovely ball around the corner, though. And this left midfielder is doing very well down that side because he is finding um, some space to run into. But the only thing is he's not that quick across the ground. And I'm not sure how many skill moves we've got. I think it's only two or maybe even three. But I don't think it's four. Have a decent chance. Hog on the ball. Hog as trying to take on Delight, but Delight does braille to get back inside. We chip the ball over the top to Jedinak. Jedinak through to uh, Kodja as he plays the ball through or Kodja. Kodja now plays the ball over the top. I don't know what I'm saying, but we play the ball over the top to Hogan. Hogan to cut back inside. This guy is a very good striker and we do like using him, but that's a good challenge and I'm really getting confused with the names. We're trying to track the Huddlesfield defender here as he goes for goal and he puts the ball over the top of the bar. And to be honest, this team that we fielded today is not the strongest, but they are holding their own at the moment. We just hope that we're going to get that one chance and we're going to be able to find the back of the net from it. But we've got the ball with Jedinak. Jedinak through to uh, Gardner. Gardner back inside to Lansbury. Lansbury through to Kodja. Kodja on the ball. He's replaced the ball out wide now to our number 20. Our number 20 cuts back inside. Through to Henry Lansbury. Out wide to Hogan. Hogan first time back inside and he's only found the back of the net. What a goal that is from our number nine, Hogan. He's actually playing on the right. He's actually supposed to be a striker, but he is doing his job fantastically well because he cut him back inside from the right-hand side and he puts the ball into the far corner of the net. That is terrific. And we've taken the lead. Get in. That's what we like to see. Koja through to Henry Lansbury. Lansbury over the top here to our number 20 winger. He goes for goal and it's a good block from the Huddlesfield uh, defender. But we're going to put a good ball in the box here. Gardner, I've got faith that we're going to win this in the air with Koja. And we do. And the goalkeeper makes a really good save. So Gardner with the ball over the top to Gabby Agbonlaho. Gabby Agbonlaho has just come on the pitch. Wins ourselves a free kick. So from the free kick, um, we're going to try... Let's whip it in the box. Let's try something different. Gardner's going to put the ball into the box. It's a good ball. Can we win that header? We can with Green, but the header doesn't go anywhere near the goal. But now we've got the ball out wide. We play the ball to Green. Green's got room to run into now as Green cuts back inside. Lonely piece of play from the youngster. He plays the ball through to Gabby Agbonlaho. He strikes it. Gabby... That was awful. Lovely boy over the top to Green. Can he get the ball inside? He does do. He goes for goal and Green has found the back of the net. This guy has scored two goals in two games now. He's trying to make a statement. The youngster is saying, you know what, boss? You should be playing me all the time because he scored two goals and two very good goals as well. And the goal he last scored was the one that won us the game. Win the ball back though with Kodja. Kodja's charging through. Can he pick up our third of the game? He's going to cut back inside uh, with the hill to hill flick, then the fake shot, and he's messed up our chance. I was trying to be too clever. So it's a shame we couldn't make it through, but I was just trying to be a dick at the end, and uh, once again, I failed with the skill moves. But we end up winning the game by two goals to nil with our second team lineup, and it was a very good result for us indeed. I thought this guy indeed was very good. Andre Green, he scored the goal for us as he came off the bench, and hopefully he can start scoring some more. So we've got some emails. We've got a transfer offer here um, for Alan Hutton. 
um, to go to Burnley. We're going to want a little bit more. Let's say 1.6 million and we will let the 31-year-old right back leave the club. Gary Gardner, once again, no, give us 2.9. Burnley, we've told you we want 1 million more in his valuation and then you can take him. Um, they still want 5.5 for Onyokuru. They still want 7 for Alex Iwobi. Uh, so what we're going to have to do, we're going to have to go ahead and offer someone. Um, who do we offer to try and get rid of? Um... Who do we go for? Let's go for Jed Steer. Should we go for Jed Steer, the goalkeeper? I'm not really sure who we want to get rid of. Let's try and get rid of the goalkeeper, Bun. Bun and 5 million for Alex Awobi. Uh, Burnley keep saying no. Players sold, uh, Oriand now gone, and we're still waiting for Victor Kovalenko to come back and maybe accept his contract. So, unacceptable for Rolando Ahrens. Um, let's say a straight three million bid for Orlando on the left midfield position, and let's see what they say for that. Sheffield Wednesday say four point four for Jack Grealish, and no, that's just not going to happen, guys. I told you at least nine, and they're saying four point four. You can fuck off. So we've got three emails. We're hoping it's going. Yes, good news for us there. Kovalenko's accepted his contract before the next game, so he's going to be joining the club. A 20-year-old centre attacking midfielder joins. Joe Gomez will also be joining the club in the centre back position, and Alan Hutton will be leaving the club. And that is good news. And Santi Mean has declined because he loves living there and he wants more wages, basically. So as always, you offer him 30 grand, and they will go ahead and accept. I think if we pull off that one, that will be it for the transfer window. And I think it would be a fantastic transfer window if we can pull off that deal. But that is in fact going to be it for this episode of Career Mode. I really do hope you have enjoyed it. And if you did, please make sure to hit that button down below as it is going to be a very much appreciated. And don't forget, if you are new around here, hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with my latest videos and Career Mode. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.